Does faster RAM really improve your PC's performance? Well, we're gonna see that in this video. Hey guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super fun because I'll show you a simple trick using which you can greatly boost your PC's performance and that is by simply upgrading your RAM on your existing PC. So a lot of people have like a lot of questions regarding this section and they keep asking me in my PC build videos like, hey Vimal, should we buy like a higher clocked RAM? I also keep getting questions like, should they buy for like, you know, should they buy high capacity RAM or should they go for like low capacity but faster RAM? which is the best choice for them so today I'll talk about all that in this video and I'll give you like best suggestions for your PC and for the same testing purpose guys I actually got like a brand new RAM kit from Kingston this is their all new Kingston Fury Renegade RGB RAM and let me tell you this is not your regular RAM guys it's an ultra fast RAM kit that is clocked at almost like 4600 megahertz guys and offers like crazy performance I can't wait to put this to test and show you how this thing performs so guys without wasting any more time Let's get started with the video. So here's our new RAM that I just received from Kingston. It's called the Fury Renegade and this is a high performance RAM guys, not the regular RAM you know. It's compatible with both Intel and AMD platforms, has a picture of the product on the front and yes, it does come with RGB lighting on board and can be controlled with their Fury control software. That is pretty much it, there is nothing else written on the box packaging. Going to the back side here, we've got some details. It's a 16 GB kit, 18 to 2, clocked at 4600 megahertz. That is freaking insane. I think this is the fastest RAM I have right now in my arsenal and I can't wait to see how it performs. Let me just cut this seal on the package. There we go. The RAM comes nicely packed like this on a tray. Let me just take it out and show you. So here's our brand new Fury Renegade RGB from Kingston. It's an ultra fast RAM and oh boy, look at that design. Quite aggressive, right? Definitely matches the name. Pretty nice black anodized aluminum heat spreader wrapped all around it. Says Renegade to the side and at the top side is where you've got the RGB light bar. It's powered by Kingston's infrared sync technology to seamlessly synchronize your RGB lighting with the other components. And as mentioned before, it's compatible with both Intel and AMD platforms and is clocked at 4600 MHz. Overall, good build quality, love the looks also, but the real question is, how does it perform or is it actually worth upgrading from your old or low speed RAM to this ultra fast memory? Okay, time to get started with the actual testing. You guys remember right, last week we made a brand new budget category build. It was a 50k AMD edition build with no GPU. So we'll be using the same exact build for this testing also guys. And the reason for that is, see if you use like a powerful or maybe a premium gaming PC, which already has like a powerful CPU and GPU, see it's very hard to notice the difference when you change a small part like a RAM in that because that is already offering you like great results, right? And that is the reason we are using this budget category build because it's a low time budget category build right so when you change something like a ram or anything with a powerful thing you'll notice big difference and that is what we'll be putting to a test in this video so guys what we'll be doing first is i'll be showing you the performance results with a basic category ram like we are using hyperx fury ddr4 ram that is like a very affordable category ram and it's the same ram that i've used in that video also guys that is clocked at 2666 megahertz and i'll show you the first benchmarks of that and after that i'll change that fury ddr4 ram with this brand new Kingston Fury Renegade RGB RAM that is clocked at 4600 megahertz and we'll see how much performance difference or how much FPS gains are we actually getting by changing the RAM. The RAM kit is same both are 16 GB only difference is that uh, the clock speeds are different and also the clock latencies are also different so keep that in mind. So first let's check out the gameplay results of the basic DDR4 budget category RAM. Okay, on HyperX Fury budget RAM 16 GB kit clocked at 2666 MHz, we were getting an average of around 55 frames per second in GTA 5 at 1080p normal graphics. 
Now let's change the RAM from the basic Fury to our all new super fast Fury Renegade RGB. Also guys, after installing the RAM, make sure to head over to the BIOS and enable XMP profile or DOCP in the case of AMD because by default, your RAM doesn't run at their advertised clock speeds. You'll need to enable it manually from the BIOS. This is fairly easy to do, just head over to the overclock tuner section in the BIOS and switch the OC tuner from Auto to DOCP. And now you'll see that the XMP profile is enabled and we're rocking the RAM at 4600 MHz. Alright, now let's quickly check out the performance. So let's quickly boot up GTA 5 and see how it performs. We're playing the game at the same settings, nothing has changed, 1080p resolution, normal graphics. Oh my god, what? Is that even for real? Just look at those frame rates. Holy smokes, massive improvement in the performance. On an average, we were getting around 85 to 90 frames per second. Where is 55 in the previous test and where is 85 to 90? You're almost getting like 30, 35 FPS gain and that is definitely huge guys. The game feels buttery smooth with no sorts of lags right now. And by the way, you do remember right, there is no GPU in this build. We're playing it on Ryzen 5600 GPU. So as you can see, we are getting around like 90 FPS in the normal graphics mode, right? Now you actually have some scope of increasing the graphics from normal to medium and you'll still get a solid 60 FPS, that too without a GPU. See, that is what I'm talking about guys. A simple upgrade to a faster RAM in your build can give you great results just like that. So if you have the budget, always prefer buying RAM with a minimum of 3000 or 3600 MHz as that can give a great performance boost. That was crazy, right? I'm pretty sure you guys also didn't expect you'll be seeing such major performance improvement just by upgrading a RAM from a basic affordable one to a higher clogged, faster RAM. And now let me just clear up all your doubts regarding like, should you buy a faster RAM for your PC or get higher capacity RAM? Now this completely depends on the user and the requirement guys. For example, if you're a new person who's building a PC for gaming purpose, and let me tell you, based on my personal experience now, no matter what game you play on your PC, a game will never utilize more than 8 GB or maybe max 10 GB guys. It won't exceed beyond that RAM usage. And for this purpose now, 16 GB is like more than enough. What you need for gaming purpose is like faster RAM with higher clock frequencies, like minimum 3000 MHz, 3600. If you have the budget, go for 4000 or above and you'll get like major performance improvement. 16 GB should be like more than enough. And again, if you're not just a gamer or maybe you're like a content creator, maybe a streamer. See, streamers usually like keep playing games and parallelly they also stream the gameplay and also keep recording the gameplay, right? And maybe parallelly you want to run some other apps also like maybe a Spotify app or maybe some music player in the background. For this purpose, if you want to run these many multiple apps at the same time, then you'll need like high capacity RAM, maybe like 32 GB depending on your requirement. Then only you'll need high capacity RAM, otherwise you don't need. And also if you are like a content creator or maybe you want to use the PC for creative or productive side of applications like maybe Adobe apps like Photoshop, Premiere Pro or maybe After Effects or you're into designing an art category field. Here also you'll need like high capacity RAM guys so you can compromise a bit on the speed and get like higher capacity RAM. That is quite essential for you know productive or creative sort of applications. So I hope this video helped you and cleared all your doubts whether you should get like high capacity or like faster RAM and how much performance difference also you get when you switch from a basic RAM to faster RAM. And that is pretty much it guys. That was our video on Kingston's brand new Fury Renegade RGB RAM. It's an excellent RAM, like super fast RAM that is clocked at 4600 MHz, has beautiful RGB lighting also and I was quite satisfied with the results. Only thing is, see, it's a fast RAM, right? So it's definitely a bit expensive than the regular budget category variants. And each of these 8 GB RAM sticks is priced at around 6800 or something like that. So if you take like a 16 GB kit clocked at 4600 MHz, you'll easily cost around like maybe 13, 5 or 14,000 rupees in India. I'll leave links for the product in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that is pretty much it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video and got to learn a lot. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.